welcome back Chargeheads for another episode. So um, I've had a few messages recently about where that Tesla motor came from and for a few times I've said look I'll, I'll talk more in detail about it. Um, so this is the episode to talk about where the motors come from and a little bit more detail about it. So first of all it's come from EV shop. Uh, they used to be in France, uh, they've recently moved to Romania and I've got some footage of Mark, one of the guys that runs it, um, which I'll go on to later in the programme. But I thought, uh, programme, episode, whatever, um, the, uh, I thought I'd start with why did it take me so long to find a motor? Why couldn't I just put a Hyper 9 in it? You know, I think that's something that Chris uh, Hazel from Zero EV said. Maybe you might use one in your build. Do you ever make your mind up? Oh, cuts deep, man. Cuts deep. <laughs> the whole reason it took me so long to get a motor that I was happy with because of the power to make sure it's comparable to the Griffith and also to make sure it fits because nothing fits in the wedge. Go on about that a lot, but also to make sure it was used. Now, just a bit of a backstory the whole reason um, I kind of started Charge Heads was because. I felt myself being more uh, environmentally kind of proactive. The reason I've started this is because I'm very passionate about the environment. Because we need to do something about the environment and we still want to have fun in cars, right? That's where charges has come about. And this was the whole reason I wanted to use used parts. You know, by going for a new motor, it kind of goes completely against what you know what charge heads was all about it's it's not just about exciting electric cars it's about you know being more environmentally friendly with the cars this is where it all stems from and this is why it took so long to find the right motor used powerful something that fits like i intimated in a previous episode someone on twitter really helped me out with um highlighting uh ev shop dot uh, eu and I'll show you the website in a second because they don't just do EV conversion bits. They also do quite a lot of kind of storage for uh, people who want to be off grid. So batteries uh, for people who want to pop solar, uh, which I'll show on the website in a minute. So so this is why, you know, it was quite uh, quite exciting for me not only to get a motor that ticks all my boxes there or thereabouts, but also to work with a company that does a lot of repurposing. So without further ado, here are some clips of Mark, who runs an EV shop. Um, so, let's have a look. So, what we have here is evshop.eu website. They do all sorts of things. There's their solar uh, trailer, which you'll see in a minute in the video. Uh, they've got electric race cars. They've got custom things going on. The Tesla small drive unit modified. This is the one that's in the TVR wedgie. Um, managed to get it delivered all the way from Romania. And, yeah, it's... Uh, 63 kilograms so it's pretty heavy the inverters separate um obviously so it fits well in the uh the kind of uh, orientation that we've got it in um it's 330 newton meters and 220 kilowatts so again very similar in power to the griffith so i think they're going to be really well matched and you've got the shaft speed there as well and these guys i mean they do all sorts of other you know, they do all sorts of other motors, but this is what I love about this company is the fact that, you know, you even got the kit off grid just there, which is to do with the solar um, conversion kits. But a lot of it is repurposed stuff, which really, really floats my boat because it's a lot more environmentally friendly than, you know, than the new stuff. But ultimately, anything's better than, you know, diesel or petrol power for everyday motoring. So there we have it. Check out evshop.eu. And I'm going to put a little um, tag to use for a discount code. Please check out what they've got there and use that code because that will really, really not only help them, it will also help my channel. So please get involved. That would be awesome. It's custom. Ah, awesome. So this is still kind of, uh, I mean, we're going to use the AEM solution, you know? Yep. And something else that's uh, lately working. So we were working on the bench test for the large drive unit also. Yep. This will be shipped to USA. Same solution. 
We have requests from friends for motorsport, okay? So we're working on this one. And and now, let's say we are focusing our business more and more on energy storage. And something I, I think maybe you saw on Instagram, we uh, we worked on this solar trailer. If you, if, yes. if you want to show something that we are the... I mean, different than the others' company because, you know, Beatles and Defenders, there is lots of them. This is the last project, you know, with the wow. solar panels on the side. Oh, cool. Wow. So what? Uh, what is that able to power? Do you know what? Uh, how many kilowatts that's able to produce? So inside wow. we have uh, 120 kilowatts hour battery pack. It's uh, two, uh, you know, well, you will see. Uh, so we have... We cut it the end of the battery pack, and there is two of them. There is, uh, I think, 12 plus 12 but, uh, modules inside, but it's the full casing of the battery pack, almost the full casing. With the Victron, this is fully working. Actually, Victron and Fronius inside. The the nine solar panels on top, it's pretty weak, you know. It's, it's not that. So it's just to keep it charged and, and keep the, bat the batteries warm. So the idea, if there is a... Is to replace the generator, and if we need more energy, with the Fronius inside, we can add 60 up to 60 panels more, so 30 kilowatts peak power, plus the storage, and we have 10 kilowatts per phase. See, this is what I love about your company is the fact that you don't just do EV conversions and cool race cars, but you also it's the energy storage. Oh, is is, is this an electric? Uh... If, yeah, if... electric defender. Nice, nice. So this is the last point. We ma we made it. Uh, this car is going to Austria. We don't refurbish the cars, you know. We only make them electric. And let me show you. We have the large ride unit modified. Yep. yep. And we get the transfer box. Wow. So this is a real a real four by four. Let's say. And this is a bit different than the the what the guy from Electric Classic Cars. I was, or, uh, I was, I was just name. about to say, how how is yours different or better or? Because uh, Electric Classic Cars, for example, I mean their solution is pretty very good and simple, but the only problem is that uh, they don't have these low and high gears. I hope uh, well. I hope at some point I can actually make it to Romania because you guys, you know, you're a good day's drive away. But it's going to have to be a road trip at some point, that's for sure. You're welcome anytime. I mean, uh, we're here waiting for, for you if you want. Oh, uh, okay, man. This, no, there's a lot of things to see here. Maybe I forgot something. Uh, <laughs> but no, thank thank you for showing us all that. And uh, like I said, I'll give you an update on uh, what's happening with the motor. And obviously keep watching the channel. Okay. Wicked. Cheers, Mark. Thanks. Take care, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sure. But yeah, this episode was just to highlight uh, Mark and the EV shop, and that they've certainly come to the rescue with regards to uh, a motor for the wedgie. But I just saw that as being the best motor to compete with the Griffith, which is what it's all about making an exciting electric car. It's not going to be exciting if it hasn't got enough power. Um, so I'm really excited about, you know, getting the wheels turning on that with Ralph, uh, you know. Uh, making the progress on that but thanks for watching today um, it was a slightly different video um, because I'm preparing for petrol hedonism live so who's going to be at petrol hedonism live it's going to be me rusty tesla it's going to be tvr wedgie there might be another car uh, of mine that's going to be there as well I'm going to try and bring trikey I hope it fits in one of the cars uh, we've also got Ralph with his mini shorty mini uh, it's not actually his, it's actually a customer's, but he says he's going to bring it down, which would be amazing. Uh, we've also got Moggy from Electric Classic Cars with an array of his cars, which would be great. And he's going to be doing a burnout. Uh, we've also got um, uh, John with his electric Beetle, which he did himself, which was one of, in one of my episodes where I've got the TVR jacket, if you remember it. Uh, we've also got uh, Edward Watson Classics, who uh, were in another video I've done, which was the E-Type Jaguar. And I'm sure there'll be a few other uh, people that have got tickets that are going to come along as well you know we're going to make a really good weekend of it and uh, it's going to be really exciting so uh, get yourself down there get yourself a ticket come and support the charge heads and all the electric enthusiasts and i mean there'll, there'll be some petrol head cars there as well you know like shmi and matt watson stuff and all those other wonderful things oh yeah some guy called richard rawlins Woo! might have heard of him 
Anyway, I um, hope you enjoy the video again and uh, hopefully I'll see you at the weekend. See you later.